10 days. So it's this huge biomass production in, in the bay. Too close to shore. So we'll take our time, make it a kind of a net pen, kind of a pound, so the fish can stay in the water as long as possible. Let's see what we have here. <laughs> oh, scientific name is Perichthys notatus. A bait pipe fish before. It's a seahorse. And it's a little native seahorse to the west coast, in non intemperate waters on the west coast. It's all rosy. Oh, there. That's that's oh, okay. special tissue that's that's got eggs in it. And uh, put it right down. Oh, there you go. Yeah, yeah, thank you. Man. Once we get the bottom in, we can just turn this into a net pen so that the fish are in good shape. You are. Let it down. It's a little. Sand dad. These guys are uh, are fished. You don't have sand dad, do you? Yeah. They're just they usually in shallow water you usually see them like this as little babies. This this yeah. this That's one's okay. you know, like a year old. Get, so the, but of course they're gonna get to be <laughs> five, six pound fish Plus, eventually. Yeah. Scooping handfuls of weeds Very into the buckets. Yes. Okay. Because you're gonna scoop fish with the weeds and then we'll pull the weeds out of the buckets. Okay. okay. Does that make sense? Like a little break. And they live in the eelgrass yes. here and uh, scrape off the algae that tries to grow on the eelgrass and cover it up. Very, very useful little animal. It's like a beneficial insect in the garden. Yeah. Tell me the name again. It's bubble snail. Bubble snail? Yeah, it's, that's the brown bubble snail. Well, that's one of those skinny pipes. We have to be careful with them. What is this? Oh, it's another bait pipe fish. Come on, babe. Oh, she could be about five years old now. And they live five to ten years. Wow! In Fishing Bay, this is this is like like pipefish central in San Juan County. And when you finish with a fish, just let it go gently back in to the deepest water you can reach. Tiny wow. little cuttlefin. <laughs> hey, look, it's a little very thin dorsal fin over here. Yeah. Okay. Shiner perch, uh, 94. Yeah. The midshipmen, we have never caught a big one bigger than about four inches. So my guess is they go into deeper water. Uh, the bay pipe fish definitely come and go. They're here for about two months every year, then they head into deeper water. Uh, shiner perch come in, I mean, two or three waves a year. They come in, they reproduce, they go out. They come in, they reproduce, they go out. They would do two or three times every year around the island. Absolutely resident year round are the sculpins, the bullheads. <laughs> they are always here. Probably good, safe nursery, lots of seagrass. It's, uh, these are fish that like seagrass. Uh, fish like these bay pipe fish absolutely thrive in it. So the seagrass helps. And we find these particular fish like the bay pipe fish that um, pretty much only like eelgrass meadows because it's uh, they're especially uh, they're camouflaged in eelgrass. They're designed oh, yeah. to, 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 to right. not be visible in eelgrass. Whether they like it or not, but they, they survive. That's where they survive. <laughs> That is a midshipman. Yes. Look at the color. Isn't that beautiful? Oh, it's beautiful. Cool. Just going to get a beautiful view. Um, a snake prickleback. Snake prickleback, yeah. It's a it's a nice it's a little true fish. Oh I see it has little fins all along the back. Yeah, Is that yeah, the prickle bag? Yeah, yeah, okay. exactly. Okay. Okay.